Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 7th of November, Monday of the week of Pentecost 22, and in the Episcopal Diocese here, this is the first day beginning a week of the candidates for bishop. I, obviously, this has to be an entire coincidence. The reading is from Charles Porterfield Krauth, 1823-1883. It is very natural for a congregation to desire to meet and hear a man before they are committed to the reception of him as their spiritual guide, and it is equally natural, and in my judgment, still more imperatively necessary that a minister should visit a congregation which has called him, should see them face to face and ascertain as a man of good sense and refined feeling very easily can, whether the impression which led to his call has been confirmed by personal intercourse and only after such a visit and such a confirmation do I think a minister can, with proprietary, give his acceptance. But the trial sermon system is encumbered with such serious difficulties and falls so far short of its object that I have never been able to reconcile it with my conscience or with my sense of what is due to the sacredness of the pastoral office and the importance of the object which this system aims at, but does not attain. Trial sermons are no real test, even of a man's ability as a preacher. It is not pretended that they are a test of other and very vital parts of a minister's capacity and usefulness. An ambitious and selfish man who desired a place would do all in his power to create favorable impressions as to his gifts in the pulpit. And if on the test of the trial sermon he were received, the people would soon discover they had been deceived. On the other hand, a modest man would preach in a way which he was sure he could always sustain, and thus far below that highest standard which in some cases he might reach, and contrasted with the former, whose superior he might really be, would appear to a great disadvantage. And the prayer. Grace Noel Corell, C-R-O-W-E-L-L, 1877-1969. O Lord, help us to tune our hearts so accurately with thine that there may be no discord in the music of our living. We would be one with thee, ready to heed thy bidding, eager to follow thy directions. Help us to keep our eyes so fixed on thee that our part in the orchestra of life may not mar the perfect whole. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen.